Bill Reed can shape up to the ball. Is there a better name in the ACC no. than Boopy Miller? <laughs> no, there's not. Beekman get perfect five for five from the floor, but they've missed their last three. Beekman trying to change it, and he does. And now Beekman with 10 on the timer. Beekman wiggles free again. That followed into a three-minute scoring drought. Beekman trying to do something about it. Both of these teams won for their last nine. The defense has dominated. Beekman a three. Missed it. Tapped back out to him. This time drives in. Two teams of the top four of the ACC right now looking for a big-time NCAA resume. Groves off the side of the backboard. Kick out. Beekman a three. Got it! a pair of scissors here in Charlottesville. Tied at 24 points at a premium. Beekman. Back to back three. Baseline jumpers today. And they've all come from the corner. Beekman starting to take over. Reese Hellion in a minute. Beekman rocks. Winston Salem. They shot 50% from the floor in the game. They're shooting 35% right A career high. There's that switch again that Beekman scored on. Takes advantage. Finds McNeely. Right back to Beekman. The give and go. Beekman has it. Wake Forest has to fast in the ACC in free throw percentage. Beekman missed it. Brody steps out for three and knocks it. One on one. And double others on the block. Carr's the only other one that's had a catch on the block. Groves. Just one field goal in the last eight minutes and 30 seconds for Virginia. Done. That rolls in finally. Wake Forest in control right now on a 13-4 run. They the Naismith Hall of Famer. So she's smiling down on you, no doubt about that. Ryan Dunn. This has been in double figures every game this season. McNeely contested triple. Missed it. Beekman has 14 of Virginia's 29. And speaking of Dawn Staley, she scored a lot of points in this building, by the way. Or actually, the building next door. <laughs> Beekman, so much to separate these two terrific teams. Beekman off to Miner, and he draws the foul. Rating them. So no surprise, another close competitive game today. McNeely. And on the offensive end, it's been Reese Beekman's day. Through traffic. Going one and one with Salas. Off the screen. To Dunn. Buchanan. Cut the scoring cut, then it's the exit cut to the three point line. Great ball movement. Salas came off the bounce. He's not, not just a three point threat. Five for five. Now they've missed three in a row. They've cooled off. And Wake Forest is dying. And all this stuff that Joe Lenardi's talking about right now, what you need to be focused on is every position. Been saying it all year. The uh, ACC champion will be decided by Wake Forest. Continue to stay aggressive because he doesn't have any fouls, and he's been marred by some foul trouble lately. And there's Cameron. Miller, a deep three, couldn't connect. Eats the double team all the way to the rim, blocked by Dunn. Shot clock down to eight. Hildreth met by Beekman. Reese Beekman all over Cam Hildreth. Deep three. Congratulations, Debbie. That is a huge honor and well-deserved. Well, Miller downhill. Goes to work. Finds Carr in the corner for three. Missed it. Assist, steals, rebounds. But when he adds scoring to his defensive player of the year job, it's a great fill behind the penetration. Sal is in attack mode, and he lost the handle. He'll drift. Dallas been quiet for his standards, and that's because going against Beekman, pull up, pop, got 
iconic story in all of college basketball. Look. Reed open for three. Can't connect. With a lot on the line for these two teams. Salas right to the rim. Every Hildreth. Hildreth going coast to coast. Oh! Fredrickson, a three. Missed it. 